Hi classmates! So today's lesson, we are going to discuss how to rationalize a radicals. But before that, please don't forget to click the subscribe and hit the bell button for you to be updated on our lessons in mathematics. So let's get started! So now, let us discuss conjugates. Now, in conjugates, it is important for us to know this special product. If we have two binomials and they are minus and plus, our shortcut answer will be just get the square root of A minus the square root of your B. So if you are going to multiply these two binomials, this is just your answer. So what is conjugates? Now, if you have minus in your denominator, you are go going to multiply the opposite of that, which is positive. That's why I put it there, the special product. So for us to easily understand that, we have our first example. So take note, our denominator is 2 minus square root of 2. It has a radical. Now, if you have this, you are going to multiply its conjugates. So since this is minus, the conjugate for that will be plus. It is the same number, but the operation now is plus. And you are going to copy. So whatever you do in your denominator, you'll do it in your numerator. So after that, multiply. So this will become 5 times 2 plus square root of 2. And take note, this is 2 minus square root of 2 multiplied to 2 plus square root of 2. It looks like this. So this will become your A and this will become your B. So get the square of 2. That is 4. If you get the square of square root of 2, so if you have this, it will look like this. So take note, this has the same exponent as your index. So therefore, you can now cancel your radical and cancel your exponent. So what will remain is the number 2. And if you are going to multiply that one, so 5 multiply to 2, that's 10. And 5 multiply to square root of 2, that's 5, square root of 2. Then 4 minus 2, that is. So this is now your final answer. That's 10 plus 5 square root of 2 over 2. So now let's have a more challenging example. We have a binomial divided by a binomial. So again, for conjugates, since this is a positive, you are going to multiply its conjugate, which is 1 minus square root of 2. So whatever you divide, in, whatever you multiply in your denominator, multiply also in your numerator. And after that, simply multiply. So remember this one, so we cannot use it in our numerator because 2 and 1 is different. So we will apply the multiplication of binomial using the FOIL method for our numerator. But in our denominator, since they are the same, this is minus only and plus, and your a is the same, so we can use 
the shortcut. So that's 1 times 1, that's 1, minus, then square root of 2, multiply to square root of 2. It's just simply 2. Then after, use the FOIL method for our numerator. So 2 multiplied to 1, so that will be 2. Then this 2 will be multiplied to negative square root of 2. That will be negative 2 square root of 2. Then this square root of 2 will be multiplied to 1. So that will be positive. So we will not write anymore the number 1. Because it's understood already that there is 1 besides square root of 2. And square root of 2 will be multiplied to the negative square root of 2. So take note now, they are the same. So it will just be 2. Because 2 times 2, that will be 4. And square root of 4 is just 2. So that, solve your denominator. 1 minus 2, that is just negative 1. Then, simplify. So, look for similar terms that you can combine. So, look at your number. You have 2 and a negative 2. So, that's 2 minus 2. That will become 0. And negative 2 plus 1. So, they are now opposite sign. So, but your 2 is larger. So, this will become a negative 1. Why is it 1? Because 1 minus 2 is negative 1. Then copy your square root of 2. All over negative 1. And negative 1 divided by negative 1, that will be cancelled. So what will remain? is just the answer square root of 2. So this binomial, the answer is only square root of 2. So that is how you are going to solve the conjugate. So thank you very much for watching this video. Again, if you have questions, please write it down on our comment section below. Don't forget to click the subscribe and hit the bell button for all the updates in our lessons in mathematics. Until next time, peace!